What's up guys, Andy Forest Team Runner here and welcome to week five of this Spring Trails Half Marathon training series. You join me here on Wednesday evening, just before it gets dark, out on the beautiful trails, doing an up-tempo run. I'm not gonna talk too much right now, I'll talk to you at the end, but just a quick one. Baby is due this week. We're running on adrenaline, no structured workouts. I'm giving myself a free pass this week to do whatever I feel I can in the week. We were in hospital this morning, sent back home, false start with the labour. So we're being called back in on Friday because she will then be 14 days overdue, which is the limit that the hospital will allow her to go overdue. But I have left her just now contracting relatively regularly every 10 12 minutes so i thought rather than sit around she's okay for me just to hop out for an hour go and get some fresh air after a long day stuck in the hospital and we will fingers crossed have some baby news later this week didn't film didn't get out on tuesday uh, because again the false start that labor we were in for today started happening last night so I didn't go out, hence why I'm out today. And Monday night we got out for a nice easy eight miler with Lee on the industrial estate with some strides at the end. So I'll pop that on screen. And other than that, I'm just cracking on with this up-tempo run, clocking around seven flat mile pace on the apps, 630s flats around 620 on the downs, keeping it relatively conversational, feeling comfortable, feeling good, carrying the phone, turning around in a minute, <laughs> and uh, fingers crossed I will get the run complete before we are back in hospital. Anyway, I'll press on, I'll speak to you at the end. No, this is not the end of the workout. This is Thursday. Guess why? The GoPro stopped working. Honestly, I might send this thing back. It's under warranty, it's driving me mad. I tried to film at the end of last night's run and it just wouldn't turn on. Just would not turn on. Got home, took the battery out, put the battery back in, turned on first time, 72%. It wasn't battery. For some reason, the GoPro just decided not to work. Anyway, that's not what you're here for. It's Thursday, day 13 overdue. Still no baby. As I explained yesterday, we were in hospital yesterday morning. A bit of a false start on the labour, and absolutely nothing today. It is quarter to quarter to four, pretty much, and um, we've had about ten contractions today, just spread out across the day. It's so sporadic. So we are due to go into the hospital tomorrow at. Uh, term which means 40 weeks plus 14 days because that's as long as they'll let you go over and we will have a meeting with the hospital to see what they want to do there's a possibility they will break her waters tomorrow there's a possibility they'll do it on saturday or sunday or monday so we just need to be patient and find out when so whilst that's still going on i'm still able to run i have a bit of a story for you a bit of an injury tale uh, on this training series, it's important to be open and honest. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Yesterday in my run, I started to get some discomfort, which is what I was gonna tell you at the end of yesterday, but the bloody camera wouldn't turn on. Some discomfort in the lateral side where you get perineal tendonitis, which for those of you who don't know, is under the ankle bone on the outside of your foot. It's on my right foot. And uh, yeah, it started to get a little bit sore. Bit discomfort, finished the run, got home, took my shoes off, no problem at all. Walked around last night and I did not think anything of it. Woke up this morning, did not think anything of it. Put my running shoes on tonight. I have a new pair of running shoes at home to do my first impressions on. Yes, another pair, which I was super excited to get out in today. And it hurt just to wear them under the ankle bone. So, 
put my New Balance back on, it's hurt under the ankle bone a lot. And I thought this is bizarre. I take my shoes off, I run in the house barefoot, jump up and down, touch the area, nothing. Put those shoes on, tried the propels, hurt a lot. Tried the Carbon X, hurt a lot. I thought, oh gosh, and you know what's coming. I had one more pair of shoes left to try to see if it was the shoes and the cushioning and where it was uh, lying on the sore point and it was the Nike Zoom Fly 3s and guess what? Yep, they're fine. So I'm out running in the Nike Zoom Fly 3s which drives me mad, I hate these shoes so much. But I'm absolutely experiencing no discomfort whatsoever. No pain, no nothing, form's not different, not running differently to compensate for anything, can't even feel anything. On a pain level of zero to 10, I'm on minus 10. I literally, there's nothing. It's the most bizarre thing in the world. So today's a little bit of a test. I'm gonna get my run done, my hours easy run on the trails. I'm bopping along out here in the Zoom Fly 3s. I'm gonna get home, gonna see how the ankle feels. And if needs be, if all is well, I'm just going to have to continue running in the Zoom 5.3s until whatever's, whatever's going on settles down. If for whatever reason the pain continues uh, in the Zoom 5.3, or starts I should say in the Zoom 5.3, uh, and I have no shoes to run in, then at that point I will take that as a signal to stop running, to rest and recover. I will go home and ice it anyway, it doesn't hurt to touch, the area doesn't hurt at all. So I don't really know what to do with it. So today, as I said, is a bit of an experiment. So that's my long tail of a possible injury. I don't know, who knows? Anyway, I am just coming up to four miles into this easy run. Absolutely nothing whatsoever pain-wise. I'm gonna finish it off and get it done. Enjoy the scenery, enjoy being out on the trails in the daylight. I'll catch you on the next one. And it's Saturday, we're out here on the beautiful trails. Another weekend in February, another storm is about to hit us. The wind is picking up and the storm is going to hit around lunchtime and go through until tomorrow. It's crazy. The trails are flooded already and uh, we're about to get more rain. There's been so much devastation in the UK due to these floods. It's so sad to see. And we're just going to get a load more water it's crazy. Anyway, we are out, which means no baby still, but I have some really positive news to share. We obviously were in hospital on Wednesday. We were in hospital most of yesterday. Uh, we went in to be induced to have my wife's waters broken. They didn't want to do it. They felt she wasn't quite ready. They wanted to start on a stage before that. So we are booked in tomorrow, Sunday, 8.30 for an outpatient induction. Oh, the end is here. So ironically, we're gonna get a decent week of training in, even though I didn't think we would. But 8.30, Sunday morning, outpatient induction, in we go. Fingers crossed for the best. So what does that mean for today? But it means that this is our final run for the week. Only four, not five, which is fine. As I said, we've been in hospital uh, for a couple of days this week, so life is just crazy, very stressed. So today I am out doing a 5.5 mile loop around home, and I will do that as many times as I can, unless my wife texts me and says, I'm contracting, get home. 
it was interesting because last night, in the middle of the night, she was uh, contracting a lot at 4 a.m. I thought to myself, here we go, we're gonna have a leap year baby. This should be fun and uh, really excited. Stayed up for about an hour and then they petered out again. But she did say they were different contractions, they were bigger. So there's still a possibility that it might come today, who knows? I'm not having that much hope though. <laughs> so, on with the trail run. We're only a couple of miles in. We're doing this 5.5 mile loop, feeling really fresh. Uh, ankle, fine. Playing it safe in the Zoom Fly 3, just in case. Uh, there's no point in risking anything. Still got my new shoes at home, my new Saucony shoes, to give you my first impressions. But I'm not risking it. Injury is far worse than consistent training. So to this week, I just focus on wearing the Zoom Fly 3s. I will try the Saucony's on my first run, whenever that might be, next week. So on with the run. Let's see how far we can go. And uh, I'll touch base with you shortly. Hailing, pretty insane, it's just eased off. But there was just this mad hailstorm then for like two minutes. Ooh, that hurt. Anyway, feeling good so far. Uh, just to seven and a bit miles in. So we're a little bit shy of halfway around the second loop. And uh, just letting my body do what it wants to do. Weather is certainly setting in for a storm, the winds are picking up. It's colder, the hail's here. Oh, it's nasty. No text message from the wife yet, so hopefully we'll get at least at least two loops done. So it still should be a decent long run. Chugging away at 7.09 average pace, which is great. I haven't done a second workout this week, so I'm not, I'm not uh, forcing myself to stay easy. I'm just rolling with the punches. You can't see it, but there's a rainbow right there in front of me, about 20 meters away. Absolutely incredible. Okay, so just wrapping up, 17 miles. Each loop has progressed, so we've gone faster on each loop. And I'm just finishing up now. Had to stop the watch, because it ran out of battery. Recorded the second half on the phone. So the average pace in the first eight miles was 7.09. And these last nine miles on the phone, it's 6.36. So overall, really happy with how today has gone. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel for weekly random content, and hopefully next week, I'll see you for an extra special episode. Until then.